Well, hello, my fearless crew. So it's here again, another four day challenge this time. And I'm going back and taking another look at marketing. So this is actually going to be the four day lead generation challenge. And the idea is that hopefully if you implement a lot of these things, then you will start to um, generate some more leads for your business. Because I've noticed that pretty much every single business that I speak with um, is struggling with generating leads, basically. So, uh, and I think the problem is the same the world over. And it kind of has led me on to creating um, a title for a new sort of talk, which is called Help, My Marketing Sucks, and Why Is That? So basically, I'm going to um, dispel a couple of myths um, around marketing, give you a little bit of a recap, first of all, um, uh, as to um, why why your marketing is A, so important, and um, B, why we tend to struggle with it the most. And there are one or two very simple mindset shifts that I want you to remember whilst I'm delivering this. So um, I'm just gonna flick across onto my second screen. Uh, it's this really cool thing which I've just learned to do with open broadcast software. You can actually set up two different screens and flick from one to the other, uh, which is really cool. So basically all of you will have seen, hopefully seen my five C's model before, whereby we, we um, put some content out there. Now it's the content which is the lead generation side of things, but I want you to focus on some different metrics because most people look at lead generation as a sales activity. And it's not. As you can see, the sales part of this, the conversion, doesn't happen until you get right down to the bottom, uh, down into the conversion stage, down at the bottom here. Uh, that's why these are called le um, lag indicators. Now, I say to people that basically we have three really important numbers to remember, 70, 10, 2. So this is, um, I'm gonna show you two sets of stats based on Google Zero Moments of Truth. So I drill it into all of my fearless clients. 70 10 2 is about basically having 70 calls, 10 appointments and two sales. And Google says that this is the average conversion rate from a cold lead. So if you think your, um, your conversion rate is higher than 20%, one in five, um, then probably you've got some great word of mouth marketing going on and that's good for you. But if you have to grow and scale your business, you're gonna have to at some point tackle a cold marketplace and 70 10 2 is what, what that's all about. So most business owners um, tend to focus on the two, so the sales, and we get disappointed when we're not selling. We're like, we've done all of this activity and you know, and we can't, I don't know why I've been so busy, but I'm not selling anything. And basically that's because it's what we call a lag indicator. So by the time you get the opportunity to ask somebody for some money, um, you know, and you've got those two meetings set up where, you, where you, you're confident you're gonna, you're gonna nail it, um, the horse has already bolted. You can't do anything to influence those two sales, whether whether it's um, up or down. And the reason for that is basically because if we look higher up here at the top of the chain, we've got something called a lead indicator. Now imagine if your, your target, your goal for the month was to sell two widgets, okay? And we're two thirds of the way through the month, but you've actually only created 10 to 15 conversations. Now what that basically means is there's little to no chance that you're gonna meet your, your sales um, quota unless you drastically increase the number of leads that are coming in. So most, pe most people get busy, goodness, uh, teeth back in. Most people get busy focusing on um, sales and delivering the sales and they forget about the fact they need to be filling this pipeline up and it is a constant process. So I want you to get into the mindset of focusing on your lead indicators. Now, you're gonna to have to get to know your, your numbers first and we can do some goal setting exercises around how many sales you've got to make in the month to make enough money, et cetera, et cetera. But ultimately you need to be focusing on how many leads you're getting in and what marketing activities you're doing and how much content you're putting out. The second thing I want you to focus on are these three numbers. So leads are great, but also we've got to have some kind of a process to follow up with. So a lead basically, so um, if we go back a step, so when it comes to content and conversations, um, you know, those are just one or two touch points. They're called brand, building brand awareness basically, but actually the sale happens once we've achieved these three different numbers here. So that means creating and building seven hours worth of engagement, a 
across 11 different touch points and four different locations. So for example, if you've got a website, you know, it's somebody visitors, well, that's like probably five minutes worth of engagement is one touch point, one location. Maybe you've got a business card or you meet somebody at a networking event. So that's another couple of touch points, another couple of locations. But the business card is like 20 seconds of engagement, maybe if they stare at it for a while. And then maybe you have a 10 minute conversation with them. So we're nowhere near this seven hours worth of engagement. And this, um, my friendly, fearless people, is basically where most people fall down because we're not presenting enough engagement at the top end of our funnel up here during the content and conversations piece and the consultation piece in order to then go on and convert people basically and turn them into sales. So this is why we need to spend most of our time up here and less time down here and we need to get, yes we need to get better at selling but equally we need to get better at producing leads. So there's no, um, there's no exercise or worksheet for this one. This is literally just all I want you to do is just change your mindset from sales to leads. And that is the most important thing. From sales, lag, to lead indicators. Make sure you're putting out content and having lots of conversations. And I can guarantee that if you start to make those fundamental changes um, and introduce more touch points, more engagement, you will start to get better results, both from a lead perspective and a lag perspective from a sales perspective. So that's that. So that is day one of the four day lead generation challenge. Um, like I said, the, there's if, if you've um, managed to get a bit of a mindset shift, then drop a note into the, con um, uh, into the comments box, um, either below this video or in the Fearless Facebook group. And um, I'd be interested to hear whether that shifted you and your way of thinking and how much time you're potentially gonna put into the various different activities that you're doing.